Uh, we already have the Wounded Hero of Orge 1 and on all the odd pages. Uh, double click the header to know that the odd pagers. And now I want to have, uh, on every uh, chapter, I want to have a new heading on the right side, which is the even pages. So I'm going to scroll down. Remember, oh, here's an important thing. Right now I'm scrolling down in the header section, but that's not going to do me any good because as soon as I get to wherever I want to go, I can't click on it. The only way to click on it, well, I can by double clicking, um, but that always puts me back to where I was last at before I went to the header section. So you always want to close out your header section before you scroll to your next section. I want to have my name over here in the, and this is the, the, the preview section before I get to the first title. Click on this page. I'm on my even page. Click the link to this, the link to previous to this to get rid of that. And then I can go ahead and type my name. Uh, I type my name and I don't really have to highlight it like I had said before. I can just click uh, to the left of it and since I'm in the home section, center and it will center uh, that way. Anyway, uh, now I want to X out of the header section. Click the header thing there. Oops, I double clicked it. I don't know why I did that. Uh, click it once off, turn off, and then I can scroll down to the first chapter. In this section, I want to have uh, the title of the chapter over here instead of my name. Easier to find it later on. So I'm going to double click on that. Uh, disable link to previous. And then uh, highlight my name that's here and change it to the title of the first chapter and type it in and I have it lucky the first time. Uh, every now and then everything freezes up on you. When that happens, don't worry about it. It's just going into my auto save. Scroll down to my second chapter. Give you guys a chance to kind of get a rough view of what the book looks like. And that's the boat. There's my brother working on the wiring. The guy's getting ready before we left. And now I'm in the next chapter. Now I want to put another break here. Uh, so I'm going to, of course, remember I go to the top of this one here, click. I am in the, not in the header section, I'm just in the, the basic thing. Uh, click on the left of the thing, go up to page layout, go to breaks, come down to continuous, and I have my continuous break there. And then everything else is going to stay the same. The Wounded Hero parts all the same on the odd page. But even I want to change this, so I'm going to go click in the header section. Uh, I don't want this to mess up what's already up there, so I'm going to click my link to previous. And then I'm going to highlight the old first chapter and type in the second chapter. I typed in the uh, title of the second chapter, Tampa, Florida, Recovered Photographer. Uh, and now I want to check on what's happening with the numbers. Oops, the numbers have turned back to 1. And going scrolling back up, it's 32 in the previous page. So there's several ways I can fix this. I can either um, click uh, same as previous back off, all that kind of stuff, and change out my number again. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, basically, um, go up, click that side, odd page, click link to previous, disable that, and then highlight my number one, and go over to page number, and I already have the location. It's already in the center, all that stuff. So I don't have to worry about that. I hit format page and then I can either change this to 32 or is that 30? It should be 33 by just typing in or scrolling up to the number in this section here. Hit OK and it changes to 33. But there's an easier way to do that. And if I do it that way, I'll have to do it that way all through the book. Every time I get to a new section. Another way of doing it, which is a little bit easier, is to, I'll just hit Control Z to get back to where I was, and you have the one again, okay? Another way to do it is just to get yourself in the hood, footer section by double clicking if it's not already there, and then um, just go on up to, you don't have to do anything, just go to page number, go to format page numbers, click that, and then where it says here, continue from previous section, you can just click that and hit OK and it will change the numbers so you don't have to worry about doing all the other stuff. Double click in my header 
I gotta disable previous. That's really important because if you forget that, uh, which I'll do right now just to show you what happens, yeah, I highlight this title, type in the next title to Fort Myers going back in time, and check and see what happened above. And it just changed the section above the whole thing, which I don't want to do. So um, what I want to do is Control Z to go back to where I was. Well, it's just taking one off at a time, so it's going to take me a second to Control Z enough to get it all the way off again. Okay, now I'm back to where I was before. Double click the header, and now I have disabled link to previous, and I can just type in the new title to Fort Myers going back in time. Okay, and then close it out. And my numbers are still continuing as they should be uh, throughout the rest of the thing. That's how important that little button is. It saves a lot of time by uh, hitting that one little button. So it's continuous with the, the numbers throughout the book instead of having to fool with them at every section break. The problem is uh, this all works good and dandy the way I'm doing it now, but let's go down to somewhere where it changes, uh, where I have the chapters on the other side of the page. Uh, basically I have them um, on the even pages and I only have that at the very end of the book uh, like the thank you page um, and you see how it, the title is is from way back before when the early chapters continued all the way through the book all the way to this section. Now I want to put uh, change it here because I even though this now I have the, the chapter heading on the other side I, I come down uh, this one's a little different here. I'll put a page break right up at the top of here, which was really going to end up being at the bottom of the previous page. So I click on the left side of the thing, of the, uh, the symbol here, go to page layout, breaks, continuous, and it put the break way down here. It's such a short area that it doesn't have room to write continuous, but I know that is because it's a double uh, double dotted line that continues out that way um, and then I can just type in the highlight this in the once I get to the headers disable previous uh, link that's real important to do that's where you're gonna get in trouble you're gonna forget to do that and then type in uh, I'm, I'm combined two chapter headings kind of combined on one page so I'm just gonna call that Atlantic tolls and then uh, boat mileages and I just type that there, Atlantic Tolls and Big Boat Mileages, uh, X out, and um, check my page numbers, and they stayed in sequence, everything's in sequence, and then I'll do the same thing here on the thank you page, I have that also on the right side, come back to the left side of the marker on this one, which is going to drop the continuous break on the bottom of the previous page, uh, page layouts uh, and I had a little trouble with this so I mean that this is really important that you know where to put it put your break uh, the cursor um, to get it in the right spot because if it's not here it starts flim flapping the odd and even pages around typed in the thank you uh, exit out and uh, once you get the hang of this it goes really pretty fast Type my name there and then close out the headers and basically I have the book done. I'm going to add uh, two more pages. So now this is when you can use that, that, uh, that other break that they were talking about where you break and add a page. Uh, go to layout, um, breaks, and this one is next page insert. So click this. That did not work like I had wanted it to, so I'm going to just control Z back out of it. And I guess I have to click the last one here on the end of this page and try that again and see if that's going to work. Page layout, breaks, next page, continuous, and that did work. I have a break right there and I added a page. Uh, everything else is good. Uh, I got a break there, so I look down here I don't want a number on this page actually I need two pages because there's on a even page it starts at one and it flips over to, to the second side so I actually need two pages here 
So I'll just do the same thing again. I'll click on this one here on this page and click um, breaks next page section. Now I have two section breaks and now I can eliminate the number the page numbers by uh, I gotta get in the footer section. Uh, I gotta disable link to previous. So let's go work on this one first. Link to previous disabled and highlight it and hit delete and then come over to the next last page put the cursor on it link to previous disable highlight the number hit delete and I actually want to leave the headers there if I didn't want them there I could do the same thing I could eliminate them um, by because uh, there's already a break there and if I wanted to, I would basically eliminate uh, link to previous. I'd be in the header link to previous, and then I could highlight it and hit delete. And it does not affect the one above it. It only affects that page there. And of course, if I did that, I'd do the same thing to this side. Um, link to previous, highlight, delete. So there it is. It's all formatted. All my page numbers are all the way down. And there's no page numbers on the last two. I and that's what it is. The main problems I had is you gotta remember whenever you're scrolling, you want to scroll down, you want to be out of the header section, otherwise it, it keeps jumping you back and forth. Um, so always close out that and then you can scroll real easily. Uh, and then you always got to have your your paragraph thing on so you can actually um, see where to put the cursors on your breaks and then if you happen to write the title in the wrong location or you want to change it move it to the left or right or center uh, use it on home page will do that um, by using these things here uh, hope you enjoyed it